Hi, welcome to um, another video of my uh, survival video on saving money. Here I have a 11 or 12 year old member mark barbecue that I had purchased a long time ago and it cost me quite a bit of money. But over time, of course, as you will see, it completely disintegrated itself. These used to be stainless steel and I've rotated them around but they, they nevertheless fell apart as well as the burners themselves have completely fallen apart now. See here's the burners. You see that the, the, there are holes and, and how this all of this is just completely falling apart. All the footings have fallen apart. And as you see here, this is where the gas comes in and this is how it's flaming out. So what I essentially did was I figure I was going to go online and and I did find specific sites that sold replacement parts. And these units were at these specific barbecue sites were being sold for around $35 each. And these grates was, I think a set of them was like $250. So it wasn't worthwhile re um, repairing it, but uh, um, one of the, my favorite places to shop is Amazon.com and lo and behold I bought three of these grates as well as the burners themselves. These were these were $12.29 each plus tax and this set was $72. So needless to say this is one way of saving your barbecue. Go online to see if you can find the, uh, the bits and uh, pieces, um, specifically Amazon, I come to learn, and you can replace many of the components that you have in your barbecue. As you can see here, I have vacuumed it all out. I have removed these, and then I spilled some back, of course. That was smart. But I've removed these from here and they come right out like this so I did try to fit this on here and you will see that it's a little bit wider here and this is holding it back so needless to say these things are not the most important items in the barbecue so you could get a pair of what do you call it, tin snips or you could get just get a pair of pliers and break these things off since I have the tin snips, we can just simply remove this out of the way and this thing just cuts it. The steel has gotten very hard due to all the heat that was being exposed to. And the tin snips you could get anywhere, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's. First one's gone in perfectly. Okay. okay, that's perfect. Okay, let me get this out of the way. I'll do the same thing to the rest. I cut the edges and I just sort of bend the steel back a little bit for this doll to fit. Um, this was uh, supposed to be a generic fit for this brand of uh, barbecue and many other brands made by Member Mark and uh, another brand. But um, of course this is a little bit wider and, and um, we just simply bend the steel back a little bit. The steel was uh, because due to all the heat it's gotten very hard. So we got that done and we can start putting things back. 
and here's the new grate. I just ordered it by size. They did not have the for the money uh, the perfect fit. Um, if I had gotten the perfect fit, it was about 150 bucks, and I just didn't want to spend that much. And um, instead, I spent 72 dollars. And as you can see, there's a small gap here. But this side of the barbecue is not usable as for a smoker, so. This will definitely suffice my needs. Thank you for watching.